This is why you should never watch my videos before going to bed. In 1986, a young girl opens her closet to find a man wearing a dress and holding an axe. He grabs her and ties her up, and then walks around the house and does the same thing to the rest of her family. While the guy is ransacking their house, one of the kids breaks free, runs next door, and tells his neighbor. The neighbor calls the cops, the cops show up, the family's saved, but the guy is nowhere to be found. The family leaves the house and stays with relatives in hopes that they'll catch this guy before they have to go back. But after a few weeks, they haven't caught him, there aren't any leads, and they say, you know what, we'll go back to our house anyways. As the family's pulling back into their driveway, the father looks up at one of the windows and sees, for a split second, the head of the man with the dress in their bedroom. They call the police, who go in and find pennies glued to the ceiling and weird writing all over the house, but they can't find this crazy guy. Until one of the officers found a secret crawl space in the basement where psychotic killer Danny LaPlante had been living for two months. 